the ad ecosystem is changing. And as we move toward a more privacy conscious world, large companies are focusing on ways to enrich their customers' digital experiences through personalization using data they control. But what does this mean for smaller businesses? How can they overcome these same challenges with a much smaller pool of resources? My name is Anthias Weir and my role at Facebook is to help our advertisers reach their full potential through the power of our partner solutions. And I'm so excited to welcome Christian, CEO and founder of Pixel Your Site that not only understands the challenges that online businesses and small organizations face with their online campaigns, but also enables them to connect with a wider range of audiences in a privacy first way, creating digital experiences worth talking about. Christian, hello. Oh, thank you. Oh, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site and Constant Magic. And our product helps uh, small businesses to implement Facebook Pixel, Facebook Conversion API, Google Analytics, Google Remarketing Tag, Pinterest Tag, and Bing. Uh, we do a lot of stuff, but mostly related to this. Uh, we have over 200,000 users, all of them on WordPress because our products are um, WordPress plugins. And uh, our story is very simple. I started this company by mistake in 2015 when I was looking for a reliable way to implement the Facebook Pixel. There was nothing available back then on WordPress, so I decided to build a plugin myself. And the rest is history. We now have um, an important number of clients, as I said, all of them small businesses. And um, our latest product, Constant Magic, helps them to implement targeting while respecting their user privacy. So it's a complex solution. It's not just tracking, it's also about privacy. It's incredible to think that you actually help over 200,000 small businesses around the world bring rich digital experiences to their customers. That's certainly a massive achievement. While we're actually on the topic of personalization, as we know, the ads industry is evolving to meet people's expectations around privacy. So what do you see happening? And specifically, how do you think this actually affects your customers? Small businesses find it hard and sometimes even impossible in some cases to understand their customers, to find new clients and to offer goods and services at competitive prices. This could lead to higher customer acquisition costs, especially as cookies become less and less effective. Uh, I know this because I run a small business myself and I understand how difficult it is to face all these challenges while thinking about the privacy related stuff. Uh, when we think about larger companies, well, they have a different approach. They have uh, all teams dealing with the problem. They have large budgets. They can spend five or 10,000 uh, a month to implement um, tracking and consent in, in a correct way. All this is very complicated, and very uh, difficult for a small business. Uh, usually they cannot even dream to such a budget. And all the small companies that I know, all our clients are very concerned about losing the capability to run uh, effective, highly targeted campaigns. This is crucial for them. It's something that they want to keep and they want to continue doing. These are extremely important topics and very much at the foundation and the forefront of how we see the ecosystem evolving. Facebook has built its business around personalized advertising. Now, this is incredibly important to advertisers because it does enable them to be able to showcase their brand. However, as we start talking about more personalization through data, to your point, Christian, privacy is very much, again, at the foundation of this conversation. Facebook continues to invest in transparency and control privacy enhancing technology, also known as PET, and also participates in industry initiatives to help build privacy focused measurement systems while processing less personal data. While thinking about the Cookula's future, which is another big focus area for Facebook, how are you approaching building solutions to help your advertisers 
with personalization and ensuring that your solution is resilient? Well, we help our clients to maintain access to personalized ads in a cookie-less environment by implementing Facebook Conversion API. Um, we do this with our main product, Pixel Your Site. And to be honest, this is the main reason we are so successful these days because we implement Facebook Conversion API. Almost all our clients ask about Facebook Conversion API. We also help them to manage the privacy part and to respect their uh, visitors' rights. Uh, this is why we built Constant Magic, which is a plugin that does exactly this. So uh, this is how we help our um, clients. Uh, our clients are mostly small businesses, some of them online retailers, some of them are doing completely different stuff like selling courses, training, or anything that can come to your mind. Uh, and they all want to have this uh, ability to keep doing uh, personalized advertising in a cookie-less environment. So uh, Facebook Conversion API is the solution that we propose to them and we help them to implement. So you mentioned your customers have businesses that are selling products or effectively looking for a way to track conversions. Do you want to expand on this a little bit more? Well, sure. Uh, as I said, most businesses that come to us run a sort of e-commerce website. But um, when it comes to conversion API, you don't send just what is usually considered a conversion, so a purchase related uh, data or a lead event. You can send everything through Conversion API. And in fact, we help our users to do the, just that. We offer them uh, very easy ways to track uh, any action that might be important, like clicks for on internal links or external links, think affiliate links, or um, watching an embedded video or uh, downloading a file, commenting on a blog post, uh, even time on page can be transformed and tracked by an event or page scroll. So really everything can be uh, tracked with conversion API and then used for custom audiences or custom conversions. Uh, and this is very effective because uh, let me give you a personal example. On our uh, website, Pixel Your Site, we have a video on the main page uh, with me talking about uh, how Pixel Your Site started. Well, I can do a custom audience for that video, and then I can retarget that audience with ads, uh, maybe showing another video explaining how the product works, or, or maybe promoting the product with a discount code. If you think about it, someone spending five minutes watching me talking about Pixel Your Site, it's closer to a conversion than someone that just that, that just visit. Uh, the, the page and leaves without doing nothing. So uh, this is how um, our solution works by enabling our clients and users to track everything that's in, that is meaningful for them, for their business, and to use this data for uh, conversion API and then Facebook ads in various ways. So beyond building the solutions that we've already mentioned, how do you perceive the future in personalized and privacy compliant marketing? Well, first of all, Facebook conversion API is not a way to cheat privacy regulation and to track your visitors without them uh, knowing that you're doing. Uh, privacy is not an option. It's actually mandatory. There are legal frameworks like GDPR or CCPA for California and uh, European countries, um, and you need to consider them every time you implement a marketing uh, uh, strategy. Uh, in fact, you must inform your users that you track them, you must explain them what data you track and why. Uh, you should sometimes offer them a, a working opt-out, especially for um, CCPA, California users have this right, and sometimes you must ask their permission before tracking them. This is uh, true for GDPR countries, so EU countries. Uh, all these um, limitations apply to conversion API. So you should always consider them when you configure your setup and you, when you configure conversion API and when you start to, to, to use it. Uh, a good conscious uh, approach would be to treat your visitors with respect not cheat them. Uh, maybe you should think that your visitors and your clients are your ultimate partners. 
they benefit from your uh, offers. Uh, they benefit from your products. With privacy in mind, you can build a long-term relation based on trust. And uh, our goal is to offer our users and our clients the right tool to do just that, to implement on one side the tracking part, but also the uh, consent and privacy management as well. Thank you, Christian. So as we move toward the end of this webinar, what would be the most important call outs that you'd like to tell the audience today? Well, I will just summarize a few key things. Uh, first of all, you should implement Facebook conversion API. Then you should inform and get consent from your users. And then you should think about tracking any meaningful interaction, not just uh, purchases or leads, track anything that matters to your business using conversion API. Uh, use this data to create uh, custom audiences, localize or custom conversions. Once you do so, you will be able to retarget your most engaged audiences, people that clicked on something, people that commented on your website, people that watch videos. Move them one step at a time up to the final goal, which of course, uh, it will be probably a purchase. Create lookalikes for the most uh, valuable audiences that you have, purchases, leads, uh, and target these lookalikes with uh, relevant ads and optimize your ads for the desired result. Usually this is um, a purchase, but you can also create custom uh, conversion for almost anything that happens to your website and you want to uh, optimize your ads for. For example, I run ads optimized for uh, embedded video views, just an example. Uh, once you do so in a, a privacy conscious way, I think uh, you'll be fine and uh, your results will be quite positive. Christian, as always, it's been a pleasure speaking with you and thank you so much for taking the time for organizing this webinar today. It's been great to hear from you, to hear what you've actually been doing in the ecosystem. Um, and I think it's also gonna be incredibly valuable. I hope it's incredibly valuable for the audience to really hear that Facebook Conversions API is not just out there to help enterprises. It really is suited towards everybody. And that really does include all of our mutual customers and the small businesses out there that's really innovating the market. So again, from me, thank you for your continued hard work in helping businesses really reach their full potential and create richer digital experiences for their audience. Take care. Bye-bye.